Let's get some analysis now from Ron Hosko. He's a former assistant director of the FBI. He now works with the Law Enforcement Legal Defense Fund. You spent, Ron, almost 30 years at the Bureau. You worked alongside James Comey in your last year there. Your reaction uh, tonight to this? Uh, shocking. Um, you know, of course, uh, I, I work in the D.C. area, so I am um, uh, subject to the hypocrisy on Capitol Hill and the politics that have swirled around the uh, Clinton investigation and now the uh, the Russian influence investigation. Uh, so uh, I'm, I'm not totally shocked. I know there have been voices both within the FBI, friends and associates of mine who are outside of the FBI, who have been critical of how far the director went last year in July in some of his comments. Uh, that agreed with uh, Rosenstein's assessment that the FBI, that the director went too far. Um, but I'll tell you, uh, you know, having worked with Jim Comey, he uh, has um, the heart of a Boy Scout. He has a, a moral compass. I think Jim Comey has slept well with the decisions he has made. I think uh, we heard some of the, the, his uh, justification for those decisions in his testimony last week. Uh, I don't think the director has missed a lot of sleep because he thinks he did wrong. Uh, my experience with him, uh, I was the director of criminal. I had tens of thousands of, of cases under me, and this director is not one that's ever going to come to you and say, here's the result we want in this particular case or uh, uh, in, in any given case. It's about finding the truth, uh, looking at the facts, understanding how the facts line up with the law, and then doing the right thing. The fortunate thing, I think, for America is this institution is bigger than Jim Comey. Uh, I do think he was widely respected and, and uh, appreciated for his service to, to the organization. But the FBI is bigger than one person, and the organization will continue to move forward. Their, their work is to keep America safe and, and to get to the truth. So you're part of the crew who believed that he was boxed in essentially by Loretta Lynch's action with former President Clinton? I look at uh, Hillary Clinton's own decisions as being the original sin. The timing of the Clinton investigation was entirely owned by Hillary and her staff who kept it quiet for as long as they did. It gave the FBI a limited amount of time to investigate during the run-up to, to the election. So he knew he was under a clock. And then when Loretta Lynch met with Bill Clinton on that tarmac, it casts further shadow on the ability of the Department of Justice and the FBI to, to, in the American public's eyes, to have run a thorough and honest investigation. So do you buy this layout of the administration's action, saying it's tied to Rosenstein's <clears throat> assessment that he was just approved, he looked at the, the details, and it points back to that original July event as the explanation why he's getting fired. Do you buy that this is the reason he's getting fired? I don't buy that. I, I, see, I think the timing lines up fairly neatly against that. But if Jim Comey committed a mortal sin in his position as FBI director, Loretta Lynch could have uh, asked the president last July to fire him. She could have said, I'm going to fire you. I'm going to make that recommendation uh, for cause last summer. Uh, could have done it again in the fall if they were inclined to. The President Obama could have taken this step. If that much faith was lost, I think this was just an opportune time for another administration. So you think this administration was looking for that time? I do. I do. Uh, you were not happy in the way that this happened? Not at all. I, you know, Jim Comey's traveling to the West Coast. If this is your assessment, call him into a face-to-face -face meeting and, and give him his due. He is a good public servant. He saw, and we heard reference to it in one of your warm-ups, um, he saw the FBI as the pinnacle of his career in public service. He certainly left a, a, a job that was paying a lot more for a lot less pressure than this job to come back and run the FBI. Uh, I think he did that as a true blue American in, in true and honest public service 
in his time there. He wanted to finish his 10-year tour. Last thing, he didn't answer a lot of questions in his recent testimony about the investigation uh, into Russia and the possible connections. Uh, in the letter that President Trump sent out today uh, informing him of that he was firing him, he said, the president, while I greatly appreciate you informing me on three separate occasions that I am not under investigation, and he continues on, first of all, if, if that happened on three separate occasions, isn't that the wrong thing for somebody to do to tell somebody they're not under investigation? Yes, generally, you know, you're, we're not exposing to uh, anyone, even the president, who the, who the subject of an investigation is. Uh, the facts are the facts, and the facts may change from today to tomorrow. And so what I may reassure you about today may change entirely tonight. So that's a, that's a mistaken path, assuming it happened, and I think that's a big assumption. Okay. Ron, thank you for coming in. My pleasure.